Hey, what's going on? I had to respond. <clears throat> Even though I like to do it live, face to face or voice to voice. And what I'm talking about is Miss Michi X. She called me out, but she didn't call me out by name, which is good. <clears throat> I'm glad she didn't, actually. <clears throat> so, Michi X, you can see that I don't clout chase. And tell me that I'm lying about how you got your numbers up. But I'm not here to talk shit because apparently she took some of it deeply. I don't like seeing females hurt. Uh, even though, like I said in that last video she made, that was a bunch of BS. <clears throat> I told you the trend when it comes to mixed people. Especially mixed people who are supposed to be black or purportedly black. <clears throat> you can see me on the forecast channel. I explain stuff and I uh, talk about how mixed people basically have no choice but to be black. They all want to be white. And I can guarantee you, the only way some of them want to be black is if they were raised in an all-black household. And they want to be black by default. But other than that, <clears throat> as they get older, they start seeing what the hell is going on. Just like the rest of us have seen what the hell is going on in this society. When you start getting older, then you start wondering how come black people living in the ghetto. That is, if news and media didn't brainwash you already. Just like they're doing with this generation. Black this. Black that. It's fucking annoying. And I'm black. But, <clears throat> with Miss X, she said a lot. But what she didn't say, she didn't explain how she had the expertise to be a teacher. She didn't show her businesses. That's what I said. I said, show and prove. But she added some more career uh, objectives to her resume. So I guess in between the last video and the other one, she somehow got her realtor's license. I said, let me look it up and see how long that takes. And it said anywhere from two to six months. But I'm sure she'll say I was already working on it long before uh, I said it. I'm sure she'll say that. But if you got half a brain, you'll ask yourself, well, why did she need a realtor's license if she has successful businesses and she knows how to get that money? And it's so successful that she has to charge you to learn the secrets. Of course, it doesn't make sense. Now, usually, I ain't trying to put you down, Michi X. I know it sounds like it. But, usually when people get their realtor's license, that usually means everything else didn't work out. So they're like, fuck it, this is a way to get paid. At least they, they believe so. Damn. Uh, <clears throat> but if she did get the realtor's license, I can guarantee you, I know she's listening right now, I can guarantee you she will push that Polish ancestry to maximize her sales. You can't tell me you're going to be pro-black being a realtor. You know the Polish angle is going to work. And, and people, once they see that name, hi, this is Michelle Kolchak. You can uh, reach me at such and such number so we can see the place. And uh, it'll be great. All right, see you then. You know, white people will be like, shit, why not? That's, that's one of my sisters. Then when they see her, they're going to still say that's one of my sisters. <laughs> but um if that's the case then that that see that proves my point people kept saying show receipts 
See, the receipts come out of the people's mouths. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's no receipts to actually show. You know what I mean? They tell it. It reminds me, I ain't going to say the lady's name because I already... It's on, I think I got the video on this channel. I think that was the first video I ever posted, which I actually posted on the last channel. <laughs> and that, that was a classic one. <laughs> that was with another YouTube personality who had a plethora of careers. I think she said she was a psychic, a nurse, an attorney, a marksman, and a kung fu master. And some other shit, too. And I kept, you know, you simply ask, you're like, man, because, you know, they, they talk and they, I guess they think that people, some people aren't keeping track of it. I guess when the majority is seen to be dumb. And say, go ahead, girl, go ahead. We support you, queen. I guess they figure everybody's stupid. <laughs> you know? But, um... Some of us remember, you know, this whole thing. Like, I was watching these auditors that I keep telling you about. There's this one guy. I just found out the guy wears French tips. Because the cop asked. I said, French tips? I said, what the fuck are, fuck are those? <laughs> so I said... Let me look this shit up. And then motherfucking, I guess, Lee Press on Nails or some shit, designer type shit. I said, man, what the fuck kind of man <laughs> is going to wear some shit like that? I said, I don't know what the fuck is going on in California, but they got some fruity motherfuckers out there. Uh, and that ain't San Francisco. That's the L.A. area, I think. They got some fruity dudes out there. He hangs with a gay guy. With a pot belly, always talking about a, a man is handsome, but he plays the safe and try and doesn't say say it to the wrong looking type of guy, you know. That might break his neck. So these guys, they, they, they're fruity and they're getting this money out of YouTube, har harassing people. And you can't tell me that a man wearing French tips. Or any kind of false nails with some crazy decorations. You can't tell me that's some new street style. You just can't tell me that. That's some that's some crazy shit, man. But anyway, that, that's another guy. Another person on YouTube. Because that's a YouTube personality. I'll give the name. Kern County. I forgot the last part of the name. But Kern County, this shit will come up. I admit the videos can be exciting. But he's pretty fucking annoying. With his mouth. And he did get beat down a few times. <laughs> he's, he's one of those people with the mouth. I dare you. What you gonna do? All that kind of shit. Mexican dude. And it, you know that shit can intimidate some people. Who don't really. You know not really about that life. But the ones who are. <laughs> they showed them what, what they gonna do. And he didn't do shit. But get scared and. Try to run. Take the ass whooping. I'm like, man, damn. Talk all that shit. Then when it's time to do it, you can't do it. But um, this guy, I bring him up because he's a YouTube personality. Same trend. People always tell him, why don't you go get a job? Then he says, I'm in pre-law. Then in another video, I'm in psychology. Another video, I'm an investor. <laughs> I said I'm keeping track because when these my, I said number one he didn't sound like no pre-law you could tell I, like I said with that other person when she said she was a lawyer and a nurse and all that kind of stuff you could tell what people are by the way they, te they, they speak this guy said he's pre-law but he can hardly put a sentence together so I already know he's not pre-law and, of course, he's spending all his time out on the streets recording people. So, where are you going to school? Then he said he was doing something else, going at a community college and doing some other shit. <clears throat> Lying like a motherfucker. I'm an investor. I don't need, I got money. 
But he really goes around certain shit and then suing people. That's that's how he gets paid in YouTube shit. But like the other lady, see the way the way you speak. I knew that she wasn't. A, I'm gonna let you. You can search the uh, <clears throat> video. It's called Alquan versus the you know what queen. <laughs> Very funny. All I did was ask questions. That's that, that's all I do is ask questions. I don't make accusations. I ask questions. And when they get upset, you already know what the deal is. So that leads you leads me to asking even more questions. <laughs> Cause I want clarification. And if you don't want to give clarification, don't put out the BS. That's all I say. So, you know, I would I would say, you know what, nurses Anybody who's been to a hospital, most nurses, they soothe your mind, make you feel good when you're in the hospital. If you just got stabbed, shot, it's going to be all right, uh, baby. Uh, sir, what's your name? And uh, okay, yes, yes, I see you're a handsome man and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry. We're going to take care of you. You know, they calm. Thoughtful, you know, they know how to sue you. Lawyers, most of them know how to be calm at all times while they're bullshitting you. And they have an extensive vocabulary, most of them. Now, there are some lawyers who don't have an extensive vo vocabulary and the limits of their vocabulary go to what they learn in school. Contrary to popular belief, you can become a lawyer at a low-down school. Or should I say low-level school? But when I was in, uh, took a visit to Columbia University, the guy did say, well, of course, he worked at the school, so he's going to say that kind of thing, but I'm sure he's telling the truth on this one. The more prestigious the school the better job you get, the more money you make. Ivy League schools, that's the way it is. Top of the, top of the heat. But even with low down, low level law schools, you can do something. So anyway, <clears throat> my point is, these YouTube personalities, they come up with a whole bunch of occupations. Far-fetched occupations. Occupations that, if they really had these occupations, they wouldn't have time for YouTube. That's why you know YouTube is their occupation. And for Miss X, you got to understand, I'm not trying to mess up your money. But I asked the question, why do you target my people? How come you don't target the Polish community? Huh? Why do you want to be a champion of black people? But not the Polish people. See, that's why she comes with the story that her father abused her. And that her Polish family are a bunch of white supremacists. Again, that's the same thing that Zaza Ali says. That's the same thing that Obama's handlers say. <clears throat> Not not the abuse part, but as far as the parent, the white parent being dead, and in this case, both of his parents. So you can't question these people. See, Kamala Harris's father is still around, but nobody's questioning him. But from the few that have, he says a lot of the stories she's talking about is a bunch of BS. But they don't want him in the public eye. They want to emphasize her mother to appeal to the Indians. And the Indians, they, because I was in a fancy hood the other day. Matter of fact, it wasn't no fancy hood. Well, I guess it was a fancy hood. It was an outlet. The outlets. And um, a lot of Indians were there. A lot of foreigners go to these outlets. You know, they start looking at you like, 
what are you doing here? Nigga, what are you doing here? But see, I hate the fact that these foreigners come here, Muslim, you know, all the enemies of the United States. <laughs> they come here, they live the life. In the suburbs, with white people. I've told you many stories before where I would move into a place, including the current place I'm at. East Indians, Mongol Asians would be there. They'd be out. As soon as they see uh, a black man, even though I'm light, they're out of here. It's like they must stick with white people only. The one who nuclear bombed them. The one who colonized their countries. <laughs> the difference between them and Africa is that after they got rid of the white man, they largely rewrote their own histories. You know, a lot of those people are occupying forces themselves, by the way. And that's, that's what pisses me off, man, about this country. It's foreigner after foreigner. I told people the other day, man, I went to one of my old hoods. All black. I grew up. Puerto Ricans on the outskirts. Caribbean here and there, but not many. Puerto Ricans and Caribbeans in the schools, but not necessarily in the particular hood that I was at. I was at. Never saw a Mexican in my life. Growing up. Went around there just to see what's what. See if anybody I knew was still around there. I went. It's largely still black. They modernized uh, some things, some schools and a couple of buildings that I was familiar with got knocked down and some other ones got rebuilt. And they added more stuff to the to the area. So it looked familiar from what I remember growing up. But at the same time, it wasn't exactly the same place that I grew up in. It's weird. It's going, kind of like going back to the future, you know? Weird. But the main thing was I saw one family of Mexicans, pretty large family, in an apartment. And uh, I said, that's some weird shit. In the hood, and if that hood is the same hood that I grew up in, <laughs> you hear gunshots every night. Every night. No exception. Because I used to stare out my window. Front and back. Just like, Looking for some action, waiting for some action to happen. Whether it's gunshots, arguments, fights, all types of shit. And I can guarantee you that it was going down. <laughs> so that's weird that these Mexicans got to be put in that kind of situation and they don't mind. And one of those Mexican kids looked like they may have been half black because of the hair. I said, that's weird, man. I never saw a Mexican in my life growing up. I only seen Mexicans in movies and shit. Now they came to my one of my own old hoods. I'm like, damn. Can't speak English. How'd they get there? You go to drive through rest restaurants. They keep putting people who can't speak English at the drive through. I wrote the place this time. I said, man, what the fuck? Who, who's the genius who did this? They said, oh, they're learning uh, English. I said, motherfucker, don't teach them on my time I said motherfucker I'm coming through I want my shit I want to order the shit with no problem get the shit with no problem I don't want to play interpreter or take a, a, a crash course in Spanish god damn it I don't know what the fuck these people are doing but this country but like I said before and I keep saying it either we get reparations or we're getting destroyed because they don't just push people in on you Without future plans. There's this shit in preparation. Now. Just the same. They're also dropping them in white hoods. But not to live though. They're to work. 
But they're giving them jobs. They're giving them businesses. You look around. Matter of fact, I'm going to get back to Miss X. But look around. And I'm not going to shit on Miss X. But look around. Every, almost every business is run by some kind of foreigner. And when I watch those auditing videos, they go around doing what they do. I notice that most of the people with the shipping companies, car businesses, whatever the hell they go and, and do, always some fucking foreigner. Like I said, the Asians got the Asian connection with the uh, product, so that's to be expected. But everybody else, you got even Mexicans got businesses. I finally saw one where they had some black people had a business, but it was a production company, a Hollywood. So, you know, how that goes that can come, that can go. But it wasn't a to me, it wasn't a sustainable business, but it was a business nonetheless. And so I don't know what kind of production porn could have been any any kind of thing out in Hollywood. But uh We got to get it together. That's why I get pissed off at the people like Michi X and her master, Dr. Boyce, and his master, Dr. Charles Wu, and probably his master, the white man, the small hat. <laughs> and don't think that the Asians don't have a master either, because God damn it, if they weren't on board with the eye in the pyramid situation, they wouldn't be able to do business in this country. You know it. That's why you see the Hyundai Genesis with the with the wings on the on the car, the Acura logo, pyramids, all that kind of shit. They gotta do it because there are companies out here that are not allowed to do business in the in this country. Co uh, companies that make cars, like a lot of like Chinese uh, cars, they can't do business in here yet. But after a while, I'm sure that they'll let them in. Think about it, the cars, that's the last thing that Japan really has. And I think that's why they're refocusing a lot of their expertise on making their own customary military weapons. I mean, they've already been doing a lot of it, but they haven't been making the planes on their own. They've been getting them from the U.S. Now that you look online, man, they got their own shit. And it's supposed to be the most high-tech, state-of-the-art shit on the planet. With their technology applied to military shit, you, you got to keep in mind, they already had a military machine before. So, <laughs> white man helped them uh, get put back together after the nuclear bombing. They got paid. They got respect. Now they apply that shit to, to the uh, military. That's why I keep telling people who think China is big and bad. China has not beaten Japan in a war. And they ain't going to be able to fuck with them. They ain't going to be able to fuck with them. Because they got the technology. China got second rate technology. But Japan is still the most technologically advanced uh, country on the uh, planet. So we got to get it together. That's why I get pissed off at these uh, fucking frauds, these fucking scammers. Because they give a lot of people, black people, false hope. I mean, a lot, probably most are entertainer, entertained by these people. Entertainment is fine. But stop acting like you're doing something. And if you're doing something for us, you got to explain why you're not doing something for your other Polish people. You have to explain that. You can't just say, uh, fuck the cracker, fuck the white man. Because that's you. So you, you got to explain that. See, I'm different from these other people, people that you hang with, Miss X. Because these same people that you hang with or are cool with, they say... Biracials are not black. See? They're telling you that you are not them. Hell, you even said it yourself because you called yourself biracial more than a few times. So that's your admission that you're not black. But people 
get upset when I call you Polish. You seem to get upset when people point out that you're Polish. But you shouldn't get upset because you are Polish. Not that there's anything wrong with being Polish. I mean, you should be happy, proud of, that you are whatever you are, even if you don't like it. But I don't think that you don't like being Polish. I think you like dipping in and dip it out. And I know you try to use the Polishness whenever you can for jobs and that kind of thing. You, I, I, you can't tell me you're not trying to use something as an uh, advantage. Can't tell me that. Because I know that name on a resume, that helps. When they see Michelle Kolchak, and they probably can't even pronounce the shit, they're like, that shit sound European? Fuck it. Well, at least call her in. I had to wax this motherfucking car. Fuckers did something to my car at a fucking dealership and then bring my shit back with a few scratches on it. I said, these motherfuckers. <clears throat> Hadn't waxed this shit since last year anyway, so. Went quicker this time. Hand, I was going to use the machine. I said, fuck it, I'm going to do it by hand because I might fuck something up. <laughs> using the machine so but Miss Kolchak you know that name comes in handy and that name as you said in videos in the past that's your real name not a slave name see you and Zaza Ali see I, I, I retain comments like those because those are key comments that tell me a lot about what you were thinking, what you really think, or at the least what you think at times. And that comment plus Zaza Ali's comments shows me that that white side comes out and you say this is the better side. Because you people are niggers. That's why you use the N word. So many times, even though I see you back down a little bit uh, uh, in the amount of times that you used it in that last video. But you should eliminate it. Because when you don't want to eliminate it, you're telling us that I'm white. And I make the goddamn rules. And I call you people niggers, you niggers. You can't be white calling us niggers. Everybody on YouTube, so-called black power, uh, people trying to help black people. I noticed that they're always calling us niggers, always talking to us like uh, we're somebody's five-year-old child. That's not helping. We get that within our families and with our, within our neighborhoods and on the fucking job. Why don't the judge Joe Browns of the world... The Tariq Nasheeds of the world and the Boyce Watkins of the world, why don't they show us how to get paid or how to get educated? Like I always say, those fucking master te so called master teachers, they never told you to go to school and get a PhD. All they did was teach you history, augmented by them. Outside of the classroom, even though they were fucking college uh, professors or, or teachers. But nobody ever asked the question. If these motherfuckers teach at school, why are they going on TV, doing tours, teaching people who don't even want to go to fucking college to begin with? What was their goal? What was their aim? See, if the goal was to uplift black people, then what you should have done was uplift those black people that went to your colleges. That's what you do. You know, I think I did the waxing right this time because the last time I, I used that, um, 
I think they call it the Pace Wax. It's the same exact, supposed to be the same formula. I think that shit went on too thick because it was hard to really, it's hard to take off. I used the, the liquid on this one. Same one. Uh, what's the name of that one? I forgot the name. It's not Turtle Wax. It's the one in the Burgundy, Meguiar's Mer Burgundy Bottle. Polisher, wax, cleaner, all that kind of shit in one. That one actually went on thin. Came off a little better, even though I think the paste did, since it was thicker, I think it did cover things a little more. But, fuck it. <clears throat> Went smoothly. So, that's what we need out of master teachers. Every time I need a fucking tissue, man, there ain't no fucking tissue in there. <laughs> yeah. Usually keep a lot, now they're fucking going. Yeah. So, that's what these master teachers need to do. Give us the method. But instead, the ghetto-fied master teachers, not even master teachers, but self-proclaimed teachers. But students, you know, sound fancy. I got students. Where are your credentials? Where's the school at? That's what we ask of Umar Johnson. Where's the school at? Michi X is online. Where is, see, when you get an actual teaching job, you have to show and prove that you did, you have the know-how to teach what you're teaching, either from education or from actual business experience. And we just can't find that with Michi X. Speaking of where's the school, Tariq Nasheed, once again, is claiming that the uh, museum is coming, but of course he's not telling you where. Nobody can mess it up if the money's in escrow, so you might as well tell where. You afraid somebody gonna burn, vandalize the place? Probably run down any goddamn way. He's just doing inspections and blah blah blah. He said that what a week or two ago. Inspectors, they want to hurry up and get the money. The sellers want to, if the money's in escrow, they're like, okay, fuck it. Let's seal this motherfucking deal. But this man is dragging his feet because he's probably bullshitting again. If anybody, see, fuck an art of Mackin, he needs to come out with a book, The Art of Hustling. Now, that will sell. That will sell, Mr. Tariq Nasheed, because that's the one thing you have excelled in is hustling black people. But like I said on Brandon's show, if people are willing to be hustled and happily give their money away, I'm not going to hate on that. Now, I know Mitch X is saying, well, motherfucker, why are you hating on me? <laughs> number one, you're half Polish. That's number one. Number two, you're lying. And the lies are so obvious. That, that's, that's, that's number three. Tariq Nasheed is a fucking liar, but he seems to be slicker than the rest of you. And I'm sure he's lying about what he has. He's, he acts like he's a fucking big shot and can get things done, but he hasn't got nothing done. But people keep thinking he got something done. The only thing he gets done is your paycheck. That's it. <laughs> Miss X, she said that uh, she's going to hit up my page from using her name because it was trademarked and all that kind of shit. Miss X. If I were to use Michi X, number one, on your YouTube channel, I don't see the trademark logo, the R or the TM, on your name. So that doesn't tell anybody that it's trademarked. That's number one. Oh, yeah. I know a little bit about trademarks, Miss X. For real. That's number one. Number two. I'm not using your name to get paid. 
if I use uh, Michi X on a magazine, you, you, and, and your name is really trademark, then you got a case. If I came out with Michi X does Jimmy and Johnny at the same time porno, even though it's not you, and it's spelled the way you spell it, you got a case. On YouTube, mentioning your name, and you call it trademark violation, you don't have a case. Because we can mention your name. Trademark doesn't mean we can't say your name. If you own a trademark on something, that doesn't mean we can't say Michi X. Just like Tariq Nashi, well, I guess you with the FBA. That doesn't mean we can't say FBA. But what it would mean is like Tariq using that, selling that FBA flag, which is, you know, bootleg Chinese bullshit. I don't even think he's selling it anymore. If you own the, the trademark on that, then you can sue him. But I can mention your name on a YouTube video. You called it slander. Slander is shit that's not true. Everything I said was true. How do I know it's true? Because you said so on various videos. Hell, you even said so in the last video you made. You said you had businesses in the beginning. Then in the end, you said that you didn't. You said you couldn't show and prove. You said these things. I only use your words. I don't make things up. I'm not one of those kind of people who make stuff up. That's why with Tariq Nasheed and the Marcus Sanders things, that, that's why I didn't call him Marcus Sanders until it was confirmed to me in a way that I said, you know what? This can't be denied anymore. It's not that I didn't want to believe people who put that out there because the information that they put out there looked convincing. But me, I needed more before... I would open my mouth and say it. And I got the more. And where did I get that from? I didn't get it from somebody else. I got it from Tariq Nasheed himself. <laughs> That's all I needed. See, the more people lie, the more they slip up. It's fucking hot in the car now. It was fucking hot as hell outside of the car. It's supposed to rain, but... Maybe it might rain a little on tonight. This phone... The fucking weather. I mean, I don't know. It says one thing one time, and then when it gets to that time, it switches up. But, um, Mr. Nashi told me that his name was Sanders because he slipped up. So, Miss X, striking my channel doesn't scare me, number one. Number one, you don't have anything to strike the channel for, unless it's the false flag, which is something I don't do. You said somebody struck your channel, but you know it wasn't me, because I don't do that. Because I already had my last one struck down, and I know it's the pain in the ass. But see, this one getting struck down, it's not really going to do too much, because, again, I don't get paid off of this. And YouTube... Is preventing me from growing. I guess shadow band is the term. Plus some other type of shit. So. You know. That's not going to do anything for me anyway. One way or the other. I'm not missing anything. I'm not selling anything. So I'm not going to be missing any money. See that's the key thing. Shutting people's channels down. Who make money. Especially who. Where it's their only primary source of income. Or it's their fucking career. So, so to speak. 
That's where it hurts. But this doesn't hurt me. And if you were to false flag me, number one, and prove that I'm right, and two, I'd actually be shocked. I'm going to be honest with you. Because you didn't strike me as the type. But, you know, it is what it is. On that. You know, as far as other people striking your channel down or trying to trying to strike it down, who knows? By all I know is in the past, you did make videos talking about black people need to go out and start the killing. I'm surprised your channel was still up over that. Because that's some dangerous shit. And that's, and that's one thing that I think that really pissed me off because I'm like, why is she, ta she Tariq Nasheed, that's why I tell you they're all connected. You're all connected. And a few other Negroes. At around the same time. Thinking that they got enough pull. To tell people to go out and start the killing. While you sit back. And chill. I see that nobody went out and started the killing. Because. You don't have that much power. I'm going to be honest with you, Michi X. Like I said before in other videos, you know what the hell the deal is. Just like your girl, Vicky Diller, that you keep talking about. She's cute. She comes from Boyce Watkins' uh, spot. You're cute. And I'm saying that. I'm not going to lie. Zaza Ali is looking nice. That's why people keep coming back regardless. Because of the sex appeal. Know what I'm saying? Either they want sex appeal, they want entertainment, or they want comedy. Or all of the above. And you do have a personality, I'll give you that. So you're more, hell, I've I seen somebody's, you, I ain't gonna mention no names, but they don't get many views, and I'm listening, and I'm like, Shit, man, I ain't born as a motherfucker. That's the one thing I can say about you. You are exciting. And you have a cute smile. So, and I know the other people are going to be like, oh, yeah, see, he wanted her. He, wa he wanted Michi X. That's why he keeps mentioning her. Actually, I'm still mad that she didn't give me my interview that she promised because that showed me that she's not a woman of her word. That's number one. And like I said, it could have been done on her channel my channel or anybody else's channel. I don't clout chase. If I were to clout chase, you would see me talking about somebody famous or somebody known <laughs> on every video. And I don't do that. Try to get the word out, the truthful word. And if YouTube were not hating Google, the word, say I prefer an open and fair arena where whoever, whoever can do whatever the hell they want to do to attract the most people, however they can do it, they should be allowed to do it. That's the way YouTube used to be. I know these black type YouTubers, they get a few subs which are small compared to YouTube at large. And somehow they have convinced themselves that they are the leaders or that they are somehow in command of other people or that they're big shots because they got 50,000 subs, 75,000 subs, thousands watching on the live. So now they think that they're, they're in command. They control the, 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 the situation. Some, like Taharka Bay, yeah, that's right, I'm calling the name out. He's always putting people down. You know, you got a small channel, I got a bigger channel, and all this kind of stuff. Taharka Bay is full of shit, like I said before, because he's supposed to invite me on so we can have a discussion about Moors and sovereign citizens. Did the man invite me on to talk about that? No, because he know he didn't want none of that to be out there. 
Because he knows once, once I unleash my weapons, it's a massacre. And he knows that more shit will get shut down. So he was smart in that regard. But these guys act like they're in command or something. They ain't in command of me. And I don't need their channels to go on their channels to clout chase. Because I can guarantee you this. Even if you, I went on somebody's channel and they all said, subscribe to Alquan or Hardcore. And they all, all their followers did. YouTube would never show it. And YouTube would never have the channel allowed to move. See, the last channel, I think that was allowed to move fairly free, freely. Until those Uncle Tom house niggas shut it down. And fucked up the momentum. You know, I had good momentum on the last channel. That's why I can't stand coons. Niggas. Jealous because I would thank people for the donations. And I guess they were counting, you know, like niggas do. Counting the amount of times I was thanking people, thinking, oh, man, this must have been a lot of money. It was steadier. Then there ain't nothing going on now. So the coons accomplished their goal. And one of the coons, again, another YouTube troll personality who claims to have a bustling career, but for some odd reason, his fruitful career where he's making so much more money than Nick, average Negroes, he finds himself on social media most of the time. Especially at times where a Negro should be at work. Whether it's way at night, uh, early in the morning, or whether it's uh, late at night. And if he's at, uh, up late at night, how are you going to be up at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, then tell about, yeah, I got to go to work. We know you're bullshitting. Because we know you're on the East Coast. I'm talking about the guy who, for people who think I might be talking about somebody else, I'm talking about the, one of the clowns that shut my channel, the other channel down. We know you're on the East Coast, so two or three in the morning, we know you ain't getting up to go to work at uh, six in the morning. So you can stop that bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who you think you're bullshitting. So, you got to cut that bullshit out. So, I don't clout chase. I just hate people constantly tricking black people. I mean, I'm a realist. I know at the end of the day, it's just like what I always say when two guys are trying to get a girl. One guy, he just uses his game. To do what he has to do. Another guy might use some cocaine and some liquor. Some weed. Another guy. Might uh, take his shirt off. And try to impress her that way. And another guy. Might hate on the other guy. Gossip. Don't fuck with him. He got herpes. <laughs> All that kind of shit. But I've learned from back back in the day is that female hoes are going to be hoes and women going to be women hoes are going to believe whatever hoes want the weed the liquor and they love the lies but my policy was always never lie to them because I never want them coming back to me saying you lied to me and I can kill you. Some shit like that. So that's why I never lie. But I noticed people I used to hang with, they lied all the damn time. But females would love it. I guess they thought it was exciting. And they would allow themselves to get used and abused and dissed. And if they came trying to cry on my shoulder... 
I'm like, you can't cry on my shoulder, but you can whip those titties out. <laughs> and you can work with that. If you ain't trying to do that, I ain't got nothing for you. That's my thing. You made the choice, so you stick with it. It's just like if a female sticks with the guy who abuses her. After she could have had the right guy. Don't come to me looking for a hero. I'm being honest with you. That's how I roll. Don't come to me looking for a hero. You chose what you chose. You wanted the thug. You got thugged out. That's on you. As many of those shows you keep watching, Fatal Attraction, whatever else shows, you see that time and time again and then what didn't stop, won't stop, never will stop. Women want those kind of guys. They like the lies. They like the, the, the roughness until it affects them. You know how those females are. Oh, you you you, you disrespected me. I'm a court watch. I'm gonna make a phone call. He beat me. He disrespected me. He did this. He did that. Oh yeah. Whip his ass. Shoot him. All that kind of shit. They like that. But then when that shit comes back on them, what I do? I told you to shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. They might take like it a few times. Oh, he's, he's a real man. He put me in my place. But then, hey, girl, you didn't cook the shrimp, the shrimp all the way through. Pow. Too much of that shit they don't like after a while. But usually it's too late to end up getting killed. But that's the choice that they made. So that's what, what I say. You made the choice. I might feel bad for you, but I'm not coming to put the cape on. That's been my stance ever since I was a goddamn teenager. <laughs> Especially if they dissed you, they dissed me to get with somebody else. Even if they didn't diss me, if you gave somebody else some pussy and didn't get me none, I ain't got nothing to, to, to defend. I ain't got no investment. Yeah, and if I try to get some pussy while you're down and you still don't want to give me none, number one, I'm trying to figure out why not. You think I can't rock the house or something? I mean, what's going on? Then, fuck it, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to protect you from nothing because I ain't got nothing to gain out of it. I'm just being honest. And, if, and damn it, if you had some kids, God damn, you know I ain't down with that. But I, I ain't gonna lie, though. I am the type. <laughs> and I learned it from hanging around some other type of guy. Because this, this one guy, he was like, um, he didn't give a damn what went on. He didn't give a damn if he got dissed. He didn't give a damn. He's like, I'm getting the pussy. I don't give a damn if it's sloppy 100s <laughs> or whatever. Just as long as I say I got it. Now, I didn't go that far, but a lot of times I would, you know, if a female didn't give me none, I'm like, man, I'm working until I get something. Sometimes I was satisfied with just sucking on the titties. That was good enough. Because I'm like, man, if it got to be difficult, that means maybe you got a disease or some shit like that or, <laughs> or something. Something ain't right down there. That's what I'll have to assume. And she's just protecting me. So if that's the case, I'm fine. But she let me suck on the titties and that's what I'm thinking. So it's good enough. But we got to stop using black people. We got to stop doing that. We can't keep coming up if everybody is hustling. I know Freemasons, they teach you to everybody else is an idiot. Hustle these people. That's what organized crime is about. That's what government is about. Take money from the majority so that the few can have everything that they need. And more. It's a racket. It's just like when you, you they tell you to register your car. A lot of people are like, yeah, why not, man? You, you keep track of it in case somebody hits you, then they can track your car down. In case your car is stolen, they can track the owner and all that. You know, that, that's a good thing. But 
they force you to pay for the shit. <laughs> That's not a good thing. You didn't tell them. You didn't say, hey, I, we should register our car. That's a good idea. Register the car. No, they told you. Register your car and you pay for it. And on top of that, they don't, tell, they don't ask you how much you want to pay. They tell you what you're going to pay. And then if you don't do it, well, then you can't drive your car. And if you get caught, we take the car. And you can probably go to jail. You get arrested. So you don't really own shit. Now, I mean, I don't really want to go into the taxes and all that kind of shit. Because that, that taxes, all oh, that's some bullshit too. But that's the racket. That's the racket. Black people keep falling for the hustle. That's why I say anybody you see out there still supporting the nation of Islam. They're agents. Hands down. No discussion needed. Wesley Muhammad, that's another uh, Negro who runs for me. See, he run, these people run from the real deal. See, me, I don't need no goddamn training to debate. I do impromptu. That's my specialty. Number one, it gives the it doesn't give the liars a chance to uh, come up with some good lies. <laughs> that's why Michi X said, she didn't say. She just dissed me. I was supposed to interview her. She's like, yeah. Then she dissed me. I ain't interviewing you. But you? You you just trying to get uh, clout. That's all they got is YouTube uh, view. You, you trying to get clout. Clout off my name. But see, then they let other people come on and say, hey, subscribe to such and such channel. Because it's the same coon Routine, like I always bring up the Lord Jamar and Vlad TV. Anybody you can think of who had a big channel and an apprentice. What always happens? Beef always happens. Fake beef. And what that does is... It entertains the audience. The audience says, oh man, they beefing. And it just so happens to coincide when the apprentice has their own channel that they're trying to hype up. Just like this other dude. Uh, Gene Deal. You know, the guy that was always talking about Bad Boy and Diddy. Telling the truth about uh, Biggie. I admit, part of me was falling for the shit. I was like, yeah, oh, damn, this man telling it like it is. But then I was like, damn, how come nobody else is telling it like it is? <laughs> and then I see the YouTube channel, the constant lives. I said, oh, that's what it's all about. I said, how come no, you know, if this man telling it like it is, how come nobody sent people to go, you know, deal with him? Gene deal, how come they didn't deal with him? I said, it's all about YouTube, YouTube money. Who the fuck else did that? A whole bunch of other people. Because they got to get the subs up. That's what it's all about. But they don't want to tell you that. I mean, I'll accept that kind of bullshit because that's entertainment. But hustling. The black people giving them false hope. Acting like you're doing something when you're not. That's despicable. And whether Michi X is half Polish or not, that's not cool. But I'll leave you with this. Michi X, you did say that you don't need weave or extension because your shit is real. That's white supremacy, Michi X. You're saying, see, my white side gets me this hair. You niggas have your hair. So that goes to show you must not feel that you're black or else you wouldn't say that kind of thing. And of course, with Zaza Ali, she said what she said. In the same regard. Now. 
when I watch those auditing videos, I do see those black women out there in California with these fucking wee wig type shit going on. I guess it's the kind that's the real hair. And I'm like, they're working around Mexicans and fucking Asians. But they got fake hair, their hair on their heads. And then they keep moving it and playing with it. When the shit is fake. It's a disguise. And people like Michi X, when they come up talking about their hair is better than yours. That's why they do it. But you see, it's only the women who do it. The men, now I'm not going to say that they don't care because look who they're having babies with. But the men don't really care about having long, shiny hair. That's a female thing. You got to love what you got, style it the way it's supposed to be styled. And if nobody else likes it, buck them. That's what you got to learn. See, other than that, you're telling everybody else, I want to desperately be like you. I hate my nigger hair. I want my hair to be like yours. And with that, you can't say that you're trying to be black. You don't like being black. It's rough, but see, this is why you can't have people who are half white. Just like the irritated genie said, you can't have them leading. Because they got white family. Every time I think about the biracial situation, I always try to put myself in their shoes. And I think about the white parent. I think about the growing up, growing into a teenager and into an adult. They're teaching you things, uh, feeding you, watching you, taking you to the amusement park, all that kind of shit. And I know that no mixed person is going to turn around when they turn 20 and say, these people, these white people are devils and crackers. I just know that that's not going to happen. And they can lie all they want to. They can say, that their family were white supremacists. We know it's a lie without even having to investigate it. How do we know it's a lie? Because you exist. That's why. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> there's no investigation needed. So we know you're lying. And meet your ex. I don't know if you remember my interactions with Zaza Ali, but I used to ask Zaza Ali one question. She would never answer the question. She would always start some shit to avoid answering the question. And the simple question was, which should have given a quick and simple answer. I used to ask Zaza Ali, do you love your mother? And it's that simple. She couldn't answer the goddamn question. You know why she couldn't answer the question? Because if I asked you, did you love your father? You're not going to tell me. No, he was a white supremacist, a racist, and a cracker and a devil. You're not going to tell me that. That's why Zaza Ali couldn't tell me that. But she wanted us to believe that her mother left her in the care of her black uh, father's family. And didn't give a damn about her. How many mothers? I know it happens sometimes, but most mothers can't just fucking leave. Now, you can get a good idea when uh, black, you hear stories about white women giving black kids up for adoption or mixed kids up for adoption because they couldn't take the uh, social uh, heat 
But a lot of times you hear those stories. Those are people who came out of the 60s and the 50s and the 70s. So back then, you know, white women walking around with a black kid. You know, that was a little, little, little different back then. <laughs> now it's common like a motherfucker. So common that I can't believe that mixed people would hate white people. That's how common the mixing is. A lot of these mixed people are in these fucking rich areas. Just saw a guy today mixed. He was cool. But you can't. I mean, it's apparent that he was mixed. Well, black, but you can't tell me. That. He's not think, especially with his name, you can't tell me that he's not thinking. I don't have to be black or I shouldn't be black. Because he doesn't live in the ghetto. But Michi X, like Zaza Ali, lying about her mother, calling her mother evil because the audience she's trying to serve, which is a black audience. If you're supposed to be a black power person, you can't say that, or at least they feel, you guys feel, that you can't say, I like white people. They're cool. My, my mother and my father, my father and my mother, they're cool white people. See, I'm going to tell you this. The reason why I asked the question and the reason why she didn't answer is because you just can't. Nobody's going to believe you when you say that my white parent is a devil cracker. They're not going to believe you. I wanted to hear the, the, the truth out of Zaza Ali, but to this day, she never bothered to answer. Which tells me that the answer must be, yes, I love my mother. But she just didn't want to say it before her audience. Because then people will say, oh, so you like the white people. But see, she is the white people. You notice that they send biracial champions of black justice around who are female. They don't send the males around. Because, let's be honest, most people will deal with the females. They're like, oh, okay, I, I like that. I like that look. And a lot, most of the mixed men quite frankly they're Uncle Tom's most of them you know they want to be biracial they don't want to be black females depending on the look they'll take blackness depending on the look or depending on the environment there are different factors fuck time damn it's 8 10 god damn Took me that long to wax the car. God damn. I was sweating like a motherfucker too. Glad I got it done though. But um. That's why Zaza Ali's pissed off at me. Simply because I ask a question. I don't make any accusations. I just ask the question. I analyze what you people say. If I find a contradiction. I point it out. You can't blame me for pointing it out. You got to blame yourself for making a contradiction. So, you know, I think I said all I got to say on the matter. And in this video, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess I'll call it a Michi X response or some shit like that. But I'm putting your name in, in the video because I'm talking about you. I mean, if I'm talking about you, am I supposed to put Dr. Dre's name in the, in the title of the video instead of yours? Doesn't make any sense. But you call it clout chasing. I call it truth, truth chasing. As long as you hear the word, that's all that matters.
And as long as you correct yourself, that's cool with me. But just remember, the red, black, and green people that you hang with, they don't consider you to be a black woman. Despite the thirsty people in your uh, on your YouTube videos who say, because I, like I said with Zaza Ali, all you ever hear most of the time is, oh, you're cute, you're so beautiful. You are cute. You're beautiful. What they're really saying is, I want to fuck you when I get the chance. I ain't going to lie. I probably, you know, I, I, I probably suck on those titties if they were presented to me. I ain't going to lie. Uh, <laughs> shit. I'd be damn. I, I ain't going to say I'm going to turn that down, but I'm just saying. But I'm not so distracted to the point that I'm just going to give you my money in hopes of doing my thing with Michi X because I tell you this, Zaza Ali, Michi X, if I meet you in person, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> I already know I got the skills to get the job done. So I don't need to give you any money. You'll be giving me the money. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I don't know what you're playing. I don't know what this MX shit is. I See, so you notice that. I'm going to leave with this. You notice I didn't put that MX uh, network down. I just said I don't know what it's about. I tried to see what it was about, but goddamn, they want $12.99 for a three-day trial. I'm like, goddamn, at least let us know what's on it, what, what it's about. I mean, what the quality is like. Is it YouTube or is it something better than YouTube or is it a 24-hour thing? What is it? See, the main thing I get out of it is pay. Pay me. I don't like YouTube. I'm on something where I can get paid. Like Yvette Carnell. She'll come with her YouTube video, was it once a month, once every two months? But she's on the platform where she can get paid. Because that's what it's really all about. YouTube is a career. But I'm going to tell you, you, videos I get recommended to got millions of hits. And motherfuckers with me, uh, literally millions of subs. Motherfuckers I had never heard of, but they've been around for 10 years or more. I'm like, man, who are these people? How come I never came across them before? Like this guy, I told you about this guy before, named Tavares. He does cars, high-end cars. Man, guy, I think he had 1.8 million subs. I said, God damn, he got the business getting paid. And getting paid off the YouTube. Now, I think he puts in a lot of work on his YouTube videos because a lot of that shit could take hours and days for them to do what they do and then edit all that shit together. So, you know, he, he does work on that shit. But th those are people with, that's really doing it on YouTube and getting paid. Big money. Now, ask me, do I actually miss that money that I used to get from monetiza monetization. Yes, I do. Because it was a good amount of free money. The coons didn't take that down. Like I said, the coons, my shit got demonetized before the coons got to it. But see, the, the coons, they weren't thinking about that money. They were thinking about donations. But the donations never got even close to the amount that I was getting from monetization. So, you know, I don't know why they were worried about that. And the other channel, which is not fitting this target audience, they're thinking they're going to mess with that. Coons. Can't stand coons. That's so why I'm saying if I would have gotten what I really wanted, I would help build, not collect money for my goddamn self. If I was getting what Tariq Nashi was getting, or supposedly getting, you can build something. And I would have had something to help people build and not help the ones that, you know, you can't help everybody. And we need to eliminate coons. That would have been part of the building process, too. 
Got to deal with them. Got to. You can't move forward with it, forward without dealing with these people. Because they will always destroy their scared straight people. Scared straight, jealous, and drug addicts. Dimwits. Got to deal with them. So with that, I'm out.